Hey y'all, it's Shannon. So I wanted to come at you really quick with a little Jerry's Art Arama haul. So I like Jerry's a lot and I had a gift card. So, and I had a coupon. So it just made it a little easier to spend money. <laughs> What can I say? And I've had some stuff on my wish list for a little while to try from Jerry's, so I sort of helped myself. So the first thing I got is from Charbon. I really hope I'm saying this correctly. I can't guarantee it though. It I'm I'm thinking it's pronounced Charbon, not Carbon, because that would just be weird. But this is their acrylic paint. This is the extra fine acrylic basic set. It's got nine tubes they are 20 mils and they come in titanium white french primary yellow uh what is it oriental red turquoise blue ultramarine blue phthalo viridian yellow ochre burnt sienna and burnt umber now you might be wondering why i didn't swatch these well it's because these are kind of some of those tubes where they actually have swatches on the tubes and to be honest i started swatching these and these are what i call explosive diarrhea tubes almost oh that sounds really gross but basically the tubes have so much paint and pressure in them that when i open them like i swatched the titanium white and it just went <clears throat> it didn't all come out but i mean it was a lot that was out and it was essentially i don't want to waste my paint because and they have swatches on the tube so i'm pretty comfortable with just letting it go at that but I'm sure at some point I will get to swatching this, but I just I haven't done it because of that. And I hate it when they just like, and it's I feel like I've wasted like a teaspoonful of it. And a teaspoonful of really good paint can go a long way, and it also not cheap. So I also got another set from Charbon. This is their extra fine acrylic impressionist set. So this also has nine tubes. They are 20 mils. It's got. Titanium white, primary yellow, naphthol red light, brown matter. This is Alexander blue. Gosh, isn't that pretty? This is green of Provence, Naples yellow, yellow ochre, and then Charbon warm gray. So it's an exclusive color to them. And I'm really excited to try these colors. And so far from what I can tell, you know, they're pretty good. So one thing that's kind of been on my wish list for a while but hasn't been available on Jerry's like they sent it out in the spring calendar of like 2015 so like the beginning of last year and I was like oh I need this I need this in my life and they sent it in the, like when you get the big calendar I'm like you know some people they read fishing magazines or hunting magazines or like cooking I was like I just go through like an art supply catalog <laughs> I don't know so and just like circle things I really feel like I need in my life so this was one of them this is the 12 shades of gray acrylic collection now they do have it in oil they do not have this in watercolor but hint hint Jerry it's not a bad idea right thank you very much so this is a 12 tube acrylic set and so it's just like this now I did swatch this one it is quite a cute little set. There are they are 21 milliliter tubes, and yeah. So let's see if I can read these upside down because I probably cannot. So I have. Let me get closer to y'all because that'll be easier. Because I would rather you guys be able to see this than me. So I have blue gray, brown gray, cold gray, green gray, gray medium orange gray, warm gray, which reminds me of like a French, Payne's gray, which I don't really like this one that much to be honest with you, red gray, violet gray, which I love, pale gray, and yellow gray. So the only one I'm not really a big fan of is this Payne's gray, and I will say these are good paints, but they're not, they're not the best paint, but they are sure as heck fabulous when you're looking for a gray because this paint set has it and I really like that about it I mean it is kind of amazing I love all the grays not that you couldn't mix these yourself but sometimes it just really depends on the mood I'm in when I paint sometimes I really want to mix colors and sometimes I don't want to mix a darn thing and that's okay too so they're really great for when I do not want to mix stuff so the next thing I got is this is the what is this this is the 
Montana acrylic marker. Now I did not get this from Jerry's, but I'm throwing this in here really quick. This is the, I believe it is shock white. I think that's what it's called. And you know, I love these acrylic markers. They are really great. I like Montana's a lot. I like, I like all the ones I've tried really. Uh, my only issue is at least with some of them is that, you know, the Liquitex are great, but they don't have refills for them. So that sort of bugs me. But I love these, hate the tip, but I have tips to replace them with that I do like, so that's always a plus. Then last but not least, this is my birthday present to myself this month. Well, one of them. It's my birthday month, so I birthdayed myself out. You've got to do that when you grow up. So I have been wanting this for probably the better part of the year. This is the Sabilo Carb Othello Pastel Pencils. I have been really wanting pastel pencils and I've, I'm in the Lockery YouTube art group or whatever on Facebook and there are a couple of really fabulous pastel artists and several of them have recommended these to start with and these are some of the one, main ones they use. It is a full set of 60. You can buy these open stock on Blake. I don't know if you can buy them open stock on Jerry's. They do not have names, they just have numbers. So what I'm gonna do is just show you the card and kind of have it hang up here for a minute so that you are able to look at them and just take in the beauty that are these colors because oh, so pretty and I'm so excited that I got this set. This was a great birthday gift to myself. I'm not even gonna lie, I was really excited because I've been enjoying the heck out of my chalk pastels but the truth is I really, from the beginning, I have wanted a set of pastel pencils. So I'm really excited. Now I will say these are a little, like to me at least, they're thicker. They feel like wider around than my traditional colored pencils or even my watercolor pencils, which I have and really love. But the feel of these, it's just so different than colored pencils. Like it's different than oil-based, wax-based. It's different than watercolor. It's just such a cool medium unto itself. So I would say if you get an opportunity, maybe check these out if you're, in, if you're into the chalk pastel because the chalk pastel is a very different medium than watercolor, than acrylic, than oil, than anything else. It's just so fun. But you know, it's like I said, I just, I really like, I, I consider myself more of a multimedia person and so, or mixed media. So I really like to play with all the different things, but that's me. So this is my birthday gift to myself and I'm very, very happy about that. So yes, and I used my gift card on it. So I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't too bad. It could have been a lot worse. I do some damage when I do some art supply shopping. So that is all for my haul. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any art products you've been loving, let me know in the comments section below. I do love my art products and I really like the mixed media stuff and my watercolor and my acrylic ink and my acrylic paint and pastels. Lord, is there anything I don't like? There's one or two, but we're not going to talk about that in this video. So anyways, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Do me a huge favor, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Let's get it going, her. Let's get it going.